Big news today, the Reserve Bank of Australia has just lifted the official cash rate to 4.1%, increasing the cash rate by 0.25% or 25 basis points. Jaden, what does this mean for home buyers out there? What can they do? There's been so many rate rises. We're starting to see a few people really struggling. What does it mean for everyone out there? The Reserve Bank noted that although inflation has passed its peak, it remains high at 7%, well above the target range, and the rate increase aims to temper that down to slow things down and really bring back that inflation within its target. We did see with the monthly inflation figures, it did actually etch up this month. Now those monthly inflation figures aren't new, so they are still getting the data right, but it is showing that inflation is starting to really entrench itself. And that's one of the things the Reserve Bank is worried about, which is probably one of the reasons why they increase the cash rate today. The main concern with inflation is that it can chip away and erode savings. So you might just have money in a bank if inflation is only at 7, 8%, your cash in the bank, unless it's earning 7, 8%, goes backwards, it can hit budgets and hamper businesses and investments. So that's why the Reserve Bank's trying really hard to get this back down under control within that target band. Now, certainly not good if you're a mortgage holder. Even if you're renting, we've seen rents skyrocketing recent times where investors are passing on those rate hikes. What is it that we should know about this rate rise today? The Reserve Bank has warned that further tightening of monetary policy might be required to bring inflation back in line, but it just depends on how the economy and inflation progresses. Their plan is to continue to monitor developments depending on what happens globally and locally here with the economy. And even when you listen to some of the economists out there, we saw in the most recent weeks, they started to move from saying there was going to be another one or two rate rises to actually saying there could be another two or three. Given that they've said that there could be up to another three rate rises, maybe there's another two yet in store. Even some of the big bank economists, Commonwealth Bank, predicted that rates are going to come back down later this year. That's probably looking a little bit unlikely now that we've seen inflation really starting to entrench itself. And I think if you are out there and you have a mortgage, it's certainly time to have a chat with your bank, see if you can get the rate down. We have started to see a number of clients decide to fix in the rate because there's still so much uncertainty. One or two years is what they're leaning at. Jaden, if you are considering fixing in your loan or things you should know if you are about to fix your loan, what are some things for borrowers out there or even guys that have mortgages that should be aware? So fix, the benefit is you get some stability. You know at least for the next 12 months, maybe two years, your rates are gonna be locked in. We are seeing a lot of investors take up fixed rates because at least it continues and it locks in your cash or at least you're not going to have any unexpected increases. But even for owner occupiers, you might just want a bit of peace of mind. You're sick of getting those letters in the mail every month. It can make it hard to budget. So the fix can benefit. It's going to come down to the individual and the bank. There can be, like you said, a bit of a difference. The fixed rates with some banks are on parity with the variable. It's line to line. Others are a little bit higher. So you're taking a bit of a punt there. And if you feel anything like us, we're starting to ask the question is, are these economists actually know what they're talking about? Because it almost feels every second month they're saying we're two or three more rate rises away. And then lo and behold, those rate rises happen. And they're still saying there's a few more to go. So I think really you've got to play your own game is a key here. If you are concerned about rates rising, if you are starting to struggle, fixing in for 12 months might be the solution. It gives you that temporary reprieve. You can budget around the mortgage and you know what you're up for. As well as that, we've got lenders still giving cash back. So you can get a cash back when you refinance. So I think guys, if you are out there, you're starting to feel the pinch of all these rate rises. It's certainly understandable. It's worth having a chat. We're mortgage brokers here at Hunter Galloway. We can have a discussion about your mortgage needs undertake an assessment and go through all the avenues and options that might be suitable to you. The other thing you can do is, Jaden, if you've got your mortgage, you've been with your bank for a while, how can you renegotiate with your current lender without even needing to change lenders? It can be as simple as calling up your bank, saying, hey, I've noticed my rate going up and up and up. Have a look on their website, see if they're advertising lower rates and quote it. And so you're advertising at 5.7% for new customers. Why am I getting that? What can you do to help me? Otherwise, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to another bank and check it out. Just a simple phone call like that can help. Otherwise, if you have gone through a mortgage broker in the past, it's something we're helping our existing clients out with now. Potentially we can go back, renegotiate and say, hey, shape up or we're gonna ship out. And they generally come to the party. If the cost of living now, rate hikes are all taking away from your monthly cash flow, the last resort is calling your lender. Don't stick your head in the sand. Keep an open dialogue with your lender. Call them up and they will have solutions for you where they can look at possible temporary short-term options such as 
changing to interest only, they might be able to do payment pauses. These are all last resorts, but you really don't want to get in a situation where you fall behind in your mortgage and then the lender comes knocking and starts putting pressure on you. So it is key if you really are struggling, keep the communications open with your lender. Let them know what's going on. If you've had a temporary loss of employment, you're struggling to meet commitments because you've had an unexpected expense, let them know they will be open to working with you and getting you on a plan to get back on track. Guys, here at Hunter Galloway, we are mortgage brokers. We deal with people Australia-wide. If you have a mortgage, you're thinking of getting a mortgage, you're thinking of buying your first home investment property, this is where we can help. So reach out with us directly at huntergalloway.com.au. You can fill in the contact form. We'd love to have a chat and understand your situation and see how we can help. Or call us directly on 1300 088 065 and we'll see you next time.